Hi, you maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Thanks, our dads made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <sighs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Moggs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better, but no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry, it's her secret sauce. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not going to give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not going to give any to you. I said I don't want any. I don't use performance enhancers. Isn't somebody going to miss those hooks? Not as much as they're going to miss us. You're going to make me cry, girl. Hey, maidens, I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit, just standing here. You maidens nervous? Yeah, nervous that Marshall Dune isn't gonna get the offering arena ready before Mog Chathra gets here. Oh, I can't believe our dad's donated so much to his campaign. Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? To save the town, I mean. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. I want to be in the Maiden's Feast. Of course you do, poor thing. But Shell Maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes. Just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. See you maidens later. Ciao! No, no, not like that. Marshall Dune? Mm hmm? There has to be a maiden's feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chathra. But when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by, or worse. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But... I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Thank you, child. I'm firing my stylist tomorrow. Those shell maidens won't share their monster bait with me. Please, that's terrible. I know. They won't give me a single drop. No, I mean it's terrible what a tattletale you are. No perfume will cover up poor sportsmanship, young lady. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. It's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. 
Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? Okay. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. What? Oh, um, whew. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. You know, that Curtis looks like such a slacker, but he sure can bust out a solid stool. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I liked that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. Get back to your screaming. Sorry to do this to you, but. Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath. <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Wow, it's getting thicker every second. Strong stuff, kid. Don't mess with it. Hmm, it's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. Hmm, it's already soaking into the ground. I have to catch it when it's fresh. It's empty. Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? You can still see the grain of the wood. to get back to your screaming. Yeah, please leave before I vomit, you foul, rootless stump. Wow, the sap is super thick. Here, this will make your sand mixture stick together better. Really? How do you know? 
I'm a baker. I know my ingredients. At this point, I'd try anything. Hey, Clarence! Bring that load down here, will you? I hope you're right about this. It's never failed me before. How many times have you used it? Never. Shh. Let's watch. Here comes a wave. I can't look. What'd I tell you? Now that's a sandcastle. Looks like we're in business. All we need to do now is get those maidens in tune. You can see the whole Maiden's Feast area from up here. A sighted stranger approaches. Not so fast. Darn, all out of holy tear gas. Use the staffs. Oh yeah, halt. The Deadeye God sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Because it's kind of cold out here? The Deadeye Pyramid provides sanctuary only for the Deadeye God. And his devoted followers. When we're on a break. But no one enters the Deadeye Pyramid. No one. Well, unless... What? Well... If she could solve the Riddle of Yorn... Oh, yeah! If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. No problem. Um, could you remind me how the Riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us the solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Who's the dead eye god? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm. Sounds promising. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really, we don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Bye. <laughs> Sense you later. Check it out! Fruit! No thanks. These are our only robes. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. With a pit inside! Oh my god! It's so simple! Why didn't we get that? Oh man! That's been bugging us all day! But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? 
Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. I'm going in. Okay. Guess this is where they buried their old god. Such strange shapes in here. I wonder what that symbol means. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. There's that symbol again. I found my circuit control router, that's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh yeah, uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, give me this, give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead I got? Man, that's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. Were you really dead? Nah, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. That's kind of a relief. They were a little annoying. Part of the reason I went into Chrysolation to tell you the truth. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... Uh, I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. So we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm gonna need to fix some more wiring before I can even gain access to it. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. Laruna was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. How'd your ship crash? I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh. Ooh, pretty colors. Whoops! Hey, that was my amplifying quartz. Without that, how am I supposed to read the data from the search beam? Sorry, I'll get a new one. Oh, don't bother. All I really care about is getting out of here, and I don't need a search beam for that. There. 
good as new. Actually, that's not bad. And you even got it in the right slot. Hey, put that laser coil back. That's how I generate light for my search beam. I'm just cleaning it. On second thought, I don't like it there. Looks better here. No, it doesn't. Are you trying to kill us? Nailed it. What have you done? Uh, fixed your ship? You put the amplifying quartz after the laser coil. If I powered up the beam in this configuration, I mean, the thermal feedback alone could melt down my entire ship. I could conceivably release the extra energy out of the targeting iris, but that would only produce a powerful weaponized... Well, heck, let's just call a death ray a death ray. Yay! And I told Becky, you're so ugly, I'm glad I'm blind. <laughs> okay, the targeting iris has 300 years of rust on it, but it should do the trick. I'll try to lure him into a good spot. You can fire the weapon with this remote trigger. Like this? Okay, shut it down. Clarence, was that you? Knock it off! Just use quick bursts or that hacked circuit of yours will cause a meltdown up here. I'm not sure how to thank you for this. You know what? The whole time I was on that spaceship, all I really wanted was to be as useful as I feel right now. Well, wish me luck. Hey, if you're really from steel bunting, I'm sure you're not gonna need it. Shine your light on me, okay? 